So that, for example, you observe that different type of the flowers and stamens, right? For example, in hibiscus flower, <coughs> so pollen grains are take from the flower. take from flower and you take the slide then pollen grains are sprinkled from that flower and it is takes on the slide and add a, a drop of water so then it is observed with the help of that uh, microscope <coughs> we observe that different structure of pollen grain And the designs arrangement okay so and shapes okay so for example we observe that different type of the pollen grains structure okay structure of pollen grain design arrangement and shapes when you okay observe with the help of that microscope after that we will discuss about that structure of pollen grain Right, <coughs> this is the structure of pollen grain. Generally, the structure of pollen grain, generally, so pollen grains are appear spherical shape. They are 25 to 50 micrometers. 25 to 50 micrometers. Outer layer is known as that exine. Pollen, pollen outer layer is known as exon. It is made up of sporopollenin. So, 
so this is porophyllin it is that rough hexane it is a rough and strong layer because it is made up of sporopollenin so this sporopollenin is that organic material it does not dissolve acid alkali substance and uh, high temperature okay what is the object bit no enzyme was not known for dissolving that uh, so sporopollenin substance it is very strong okay okay it is an organic substances it does not uh, okay so dissolve in the acid alkali and uh, high temperature also no enzyme was not known until so for the dissolving of that sporopollenin this sporopollenin is rough it providing different shapes and designs outside of that pollen grain okay but in some places so sporopollenin is not formed they producing small circular like structures they are known as that germophore thin small circular structures are known as that germophores right so at the time of pollen germination intanis comes out as a pollen tube through the germophore after that intain is known as an inner layer it is made up of pectocellulose okay so intain is at the time of seed germ at the time of pollen germination so intain is comes out comes out as pollen tube important bit through germ four through germ four right so due to the presence of sporophyllin in that exine it means most of the pollen grains are available in the form of fossil most of the pollen grains fossil which one is mostly available as fossils in a plant pollen grains because so they do not destroy high temperature or uh, any snow okay because it is made up of sporopollenin it is a uh, strong organic material so inside that a perfect nucleus is present so in inside the nucleus cytoplasm is present okay so that is known as that uh, pollen grain after that pollen grain is divided after that uh. after that it is a pollen grain in this nucleus is unequally divided producing two nuclei in that uh, large irregular shape is known as that uh, vegetative nuclei is also known as development of male gametophyte right vegetative nuclei so in that vegetative nuclei it is a irregular large irregular shape so after that it is unequally divided it is a small cell 
is known as a generative cell right large cell is the vegetative nuclei it is a large and irregular shape small cell is known as that a generative cell okay so vegetative nuclei is not divided after that generative cell okay is generative cell is a small cell it is a spindle shape these are the objective it spindle shape okay before pollination okay and after pollination it means different type for example at the time of okay mature then anthers releasing of the pollen grains most of that 60% of plant species released pollen grains at a two celled condition two celled stage two celled stage means what is that one is the vegetative cell another one is the generative cell remaining percentage for example in the 40 percentage plant species released pollen grain release pollen grain at a three celled stage it means generally so three cells are formed it means uh, vegetative cell is in after pollination when that pollen grains falls on the stigma so that is known as that uh, pollination after pollination vegetative cell is not divided but generative cell is divided into two male gametes that is known as a three celled so these three cells are formed before pollination in okay some angiosperms that is known as a 40% of species okay most of that angiosperms so pollen grains are released at three it means two celled stage okay so that is the important point of that objective so after that uh, some pollen grains cause allergy allergy okay human beings so what are that so generally they are that asthma bronchitis and skin diseases skin allergy okay asthma bronchitis and so skin allergies so what are that parthenium it is commonly known as carrot grass it is not belongs to india it is came to india by the seed contaminate so wheat seed so it is belongs to that okay usc from america so it causes diseases generally parthenium belongs to ostracy family commonly known as that uh, carrot grass so it is not in india it came to that uh, okay so india from usa okay by the seed contaminant weed weed seed okay so that is known as about that uh, pollen grains so after that in that uh, okay structure of pollen grain and some pollen grains are also used as that uh, vegetable used as that okay tablets and syrups <coughs> importance of pollen grain or use of pollen grain
use of pollen grain so generally it means this pollen grains stores food material in the form of proteins minerals and vitamins also okay that's why they are used as that that's why they are used food supplement so the use of so they are used as pollen tablets or pollen syrup pollen tablets and pollen syrups so this use of pollen tablets and pollen syrups is the fashion in western countries in western countries pollen use of pollen grains so tablets and use of pollen syrups it is a fashion in the western countries so this pollen tablets and pollen syrups are increase performance in horse riding and athletes okay so that is the object of it that is the use of that pollen grain okay <coughs> after then pollen viability after that generally after releasing of the pollen grain from the anther so pollen having ability to germinate to producing pollen tube so that is known as the pollen viability pollen having ability to germinate that is known as pollen germination pollen having ability to germinate so that is known as that pollen germination so this germinate to produce pollen tube right this pollen viability that is known as pollen viability pollen viability is a different from species of one species of the plants to that another species of the plant some pollen grains loss of their viability within a short period of time okay for example in grasses pollen viability have only 30 minutes within 30 minutes after 30 minutes pollen grain cannot germinate in the grasses they do not producing pollen tube it is objective bit and after some plants for example rosaceae leguminosae and solanaceae the pollen grain having ability for months for months okay or few months so in rosaceae leguminosae and solanaceae plant rosaceae means uh, for example rosa indica and apple leguminosae means uh, okay fabaceae plant so what are that bean for example all the pulses solanaceae means brinjal tomato datura okay so this all are that uh, potato solanaceae fam okay so for that uh, 
okay it it means we will having that for months after that pollen having ability to germinate for several days for long time for protection of pollen pollen viability to pollen pollen grains are stored minus 196 degrees in liquid nitrogen minus 196 centigrade in liquid nitrogen that process is known as that cryo preservation it is object to be previous bit so that's why just like the seed banks pollen grains are also used as the pollen banks okay they are helped for that plant breeding method producing different desirable characters of the plants so pollen grains are stored okay so that is known as that uh, okay information about that pollen grain